First of four, a young man fighting for his life after being crushed by a wooden dugout at a Harrisburg ball field. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Evan Forrester. The makeshift structure collapsed on the 18 year old as he and his coach and teammates were taking it down after the city told them they were not allowed to build on city property. This afternoon, questions do remain about who's responsible. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz joins us live from Harrisburg with more on this developing story. That's right, Evan. I spoke with the man's coach who is taking full responsibility for what happened. He said he innocently misunderstood what they were allowed to do here at the field. And meanwhile, the city doesn't believe it's liable. I truly want it back. And I need him. Uh, he's been part of my life for 18 years. Coach Cuba, as his players call him, is praying one of them makes a miraculous recovery. 18-year-old Angel Acasio remains hospitalized, fighting for his life after this wooden dugout collapsed on him Monday afternoon at the 7th and Radnor ball field in Harrisburg. And I saw that ambulance, but I couldn't pass. And I said, that has to be here, you know? And, and then when I heard at night that this happened, I was like, Whoa. I was surprised, like, wow. Angel, along with Coach Cuba and a few other players, were taking down one of two dugouts they built themselves after the city informed them they weren't legal. Anybody that wants to build something on city property, in this case a park, um, has to be contracted out by the city. According to the coach, the young men weren't being careful while doing the work. Kids will be kids, and I keep bringing their attention. I say, please stop playing around. Hold the firm. City spokesperson Matt Mazel says because the men use their own materials to build, they're responsible for getting rid of them. Meanwhile, the coach is taking full responsibility, saying he misunderstood and was only trying to help his players who haven't had a dugout to sit in during games. You can see I mean well. All I want to do it was please the kids. I build something. The city has closed the field to the public for now. As for when both dugouts will be completely gone. Adjusters are going through it. It's the, they will be taken down as soon as uh, we can take them down. Now, at this point, the city says they are not taking any legal action against the coach or players. There's also no legal action at this point being taken against the city. Now, this field is one of several city parks that is in desperate need of improvements. The city was granted a $13 million grant to have to do such projects back in October. But Maisel said they're still going through a public comment process to determine exactly how that money should be used. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.